Hi everyone, hello. It's Friday. And you know what that means. It's well, it's Friday. I mean that that's pretty much yeah, there's there's not. I mean, hey, hello. How's it going? It's me. Hi. Jeff Gersman is here. In the chair. I had the idea yesterday with all the wrestling bullshit that's been going around the last day or so that I, I well, I didn't do it, but I, I, f I feel like I should put the NWO logo on the back of this chair. You know what I mean? Um, I can't really, it's, it's close enough to the desk that I can't really spin it, that I can't just be like, a lethal dose of poison. Ah, and then I guess like, from this, from this angle, I probably could, but, um, What a bummer. If you haven't heard, uh, or maybe you don't care, uh, Vince McMahon has reinstalled himself as the chairman of the board of the WWE because he intends to, uh, or the statement is that he intends to pursue a sale of the company and that the company will be easier to sell if he's the chairman and if his people are on the board of directors and so on and so forth. So he's basically come in and taken the company back over even though he left it and it was by most counts doing better with him gone i would think if you were trying to sell the company you would just want the company to keep doing better but i don't know the, the claim is that he won't be involved in any of the actual company content any of this other stuff that he's just he's just the chairman of the board um and uh yeah, real just like real just disgusting disgusting business, you know? It's less a wrestling story and more of a uh of a capitalism story, I suppose, that uh this guy being the you know, still the leading shareholder by quite a lot can just be like, "Ah, here's what I'm doing." Uh even though I was drummed out for a lot of um very good reasons around uh misconduct. Ah, fuck it. Let's come in here and, and let me do this. Yeah, so it's, I, I, I feel like I'm mostly, and you know, I I really talked to a lot of people about this, but I feel like I am mostly, I am feeling sad or, or I feel for the people that are wrestlers. I feel for the people who are, you know, thinking about like, what company should I work for? You know, there's multiple choices and they, but they all seem good right now. And, and now you're like, oh, maybe this one is now super up in the air again. And oh gosh. Um, so I kind of feel for the people in, in, in that, in that world. Um, that's gotta be very stressful, very complicated uh, to have that happen all of a sudden. Just be like, oh man, I thought we were going to be on the other side of this. And um, no. No, in fact, we are we are deep back in it. But whatever. I don't know. It's complicated. You ever, yeah, have, you, have you ever read a can of Bang? Have you ever read the text, the, the, have you ever read the copy on a can of bang? It's really, it, I'll just, uh, you know, okay. We've got the bang logo here at the top. And then it says by the makers of the legendary red line energy products. Make no mistake. Bang is not your stereotypical high sugar life sucking soda masquerading as an energy drink high sugar drinks spike blood sugar producing metabolic mayhem causing you to crash harder than a test dummy into a brick wall uh look i'm i'm uh i'm wrestling for the belt at metabolic mayhem uh next month and you should check it out we're on uh we're on we're on fight plus <laughs> uh power up with bangs potent brain and body rocking fuel Super creatine, which they are legally not allowed to use the term super creatine anymore. So this is a, this is a class. I should save this. this the can's going to be a collector's item. Caffeine, CoQ10, and EAAs, essential amino acids. 
Life is an extreme sport. Uh, it's extreme sport is spelled with, with just without the E on the front. It's just a capital letter X. And also they have capitalized the letter S in sport. Life is an ex- extreme sport. And bang is the extreme energy source to live life extreme. And live life extreme is also uh, the, the first letter of all of those is capitalized. So, um, yeah, that it's I, I don't it. <laughs> it's just I don't know. It's it's such a chaotic uh, bit of text on these cans. Like it 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 fits perfectly, I think, with the vibe of of Bang. I found a f- favor of Bang that we have not tried yet. And uh, I think this will cap off. I, I'm sure there are other ones, but this this will this is uh, now a trilogy of watermelon flavored beverages. This is wild and watermelon, wild and with a Y. That's how f- wild and they are. Um, the so far, well, let's we can, we can bring up the list here. Uh, let's get Notepad up and get you a look at this list. So we have C4 strawberry watermelon and we have, of course, the watermelon warlord. Uh, my third favorite riff raff mixtape here at number 21. So the watermelon ish flavors have done okay so far, you know, pretty middle of the road. All, uh, all told. And, um, yeah, I don't know. Why don't I, I'm, let's, let's, let's see what this one's about. Let's see what this one's about. Escapey, what, what's the joke with energy drinks anyway? The joke is I get about fucking four hours of sleep a night because I have kids who don't like sleeping. That's the fucking joke. Um, this has a strong watermelon smell. This is nice. This is nice. Uh, it, it is a it is a strong it is a strong uh, flavor a strong scent, which uh, I feel like recently we've been drinking a lot of very weak beverages, and um, uh, you know very weak flavors. So um, so I'm already this has got that that watermelon Jolly Rancher kind of vibe to it. And uh, it's giving me high hopes. I hope that they are not mis- misplaced. But let's fi- well, let's find out. Yeah. Eh, it's not as strong as I would like. It's not covering the chemical flavor enough. Uh, it is. It's not. Um, mm, yeah. It's. Uh, I think I think they would be better served by a stronger flavor. Hmm. Yeah, I, I this this is okay, but I, I wish it I wish it had uh, again a, a stronger a stronger flavor to it because you get a little bit of. Um, you get a little bit of that chemical back end, the, you know, the, what the, um, super creatine, CoQ10 and essential amino acids, like a, a little too much of that is coming through. Some drinks handle it better. Ghost watermelon. I, yeah, I don't know. Oh man, I don't know that I've seen ghost watermelon. Uh, I don't know that I've seen Ghost Watermelon out here. Hmm. I will keep my eyes peeled. Sean in the Discord says, yes, the new CEO of WWE is going to be the Bang Energy guy. Yep, that's, yeah. That's the... That's the vibe, I guess. What a mess. 
Do I have electric monkey? No. I have not seen electric monkey. Yeah, top guy Ryback. And his big guy balls. <laughs> Fuck. Is that the, yeah, is, is, so, is, so should this be on the, <laughs> should this be on the soundboard? Uh, you know, that's the, the big question here. Let me find it. Just this entire clip. Hey, Alex. Hey, Alexander, the only thing uh, that I plan on retiring is my big guy load and my big guy balls as your little hussy mom <laughs> on my big guy schlong. And when I'm done giving her the old meat hook, I'm going to shell shock her little dipshit son, grab a fruit roll up and a Capri Sun and hit the bricks before another daddy shows up. You know the three fucking magic words. Feed me more. I like that you can hear he's like watching football news in the background. Um, Ryback is a bad, Ryback seems like a bad person. We've talked about it before. He seems like a bad person. He also seems like a complete fucking idiot. When you see how he talks about, oh, my social media is being censored. <laughs> um, yeah. I, yeah, that's. But that's an amazing piece of audio. I'll give him that. It. I don't think that he should be wrestling on television. I don't think that he's a compelling enough figure. Uh, but you know, if if everything he said was that foul and f fucking idiotic, you could make a case, I suppose. All right. Um. Where are we putting this? Where's this going on the list? This is this is okay. I'm going to say it's um it's below the watermelon warlord though. I would take Rain Inferno Watermelon Warlord over Wild. I feel like this watermelon is not wild enough. That's my problem with it. Um it's not as good as strawberry watermelon ice. I would take Rainbow Sherbet over it. Uh, maybe it's probably in this zone. Honestly, I would probably take it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I think uh, I'm going to say it's, it's below swirly pop, but I'm going to take it above monster energy, ultra Rosa. So I think we're going to slot it in right there. I think that's, that's the right place for it. So that's bang. Wow, sorry, wild and with a Y spell check. Uh, and that, there it is. It's our new number 26. Bang. Wild and watermelon. Um... Yeah, there's, so there's, there's this when I when I look at this list, I think the, the the thing I'm running into here is that the the cliff that we get to down here when it when things actually do turn bad and you get to just like these are outright garbage drinks. The thing I'm learning is that there's there's a really thin top and bottom of like drinks that stand out and then there's really just kind of a middle area here that you know, I feel good about the ordering of this list. I feel good about the science that's going into the creation of this list. But I also think that like there's a lot of very thin margins between these drinks in the middle here. And, you know, is Mountain Dew Energy one notch worse than Sour Chug Rug? That's what the science says. But honestly, you could reorder a lot of this middle of the list. And I don't think anyone would notice. That's the... That's what I'm learning. But the top, uh, let's see here. I'm going to say probably like the top 16 drinks here are drinks that I would recommend uh, without any hesitation. But these are all solid, solid beverages. And then once we get down to, I'm going to say Zoa is, a, is probably the dividing line between like 
like whatever and offensively bad. And, um, you know, you end up with these, these drinks down here at the bottom that are just absolute, absolutely do not. Do not. Yeah, the the rain white gummy. I guess we don't have that. On, I guess yeah. I I saw that and I thought for some reason it was already on the list, and so um, so yeah. I uh yeah. I guess I'll have to pick some of that up. I thought I thought we had that on here. Hmm. The fun factor. Yeah, it's the it's the this face. It's hmm hmm. It's not. Ah, you know, it, it's, this is, this is kind of, this is kind of whatever. Yeah. I think ghost is really come on strong, come on strong. I think ghost is doing great work out there in the field. Uh, you know, if we look at the, the number of, I think ghost and Rockstar are really, uh, you know, are really putting it down though. A lot of rain flavors are fine as well. Anyway. There you have it. Congratulations to the new number 26. It's bang wild and watermelon. Now I have started to slowly creep back into the world of OBS plugins. If you remember a few weeks ago, we were seeing just a lot of, a lot of crashes and weird shit and just a bunch of, bunch of bad news happening. But I have, I've started to, um, ease my way back in. Hopefully this won't just immediately crash everything. But um, we do have this view, but I think I am going to try to replace this image, this, this camera with the other camera. So let's add a video capture device. The Brio, this is going to bring me back. Hello, hi. Now I'm over here. Um, this is going to bring this in. We're, no, I screwed that all up. Okay. We want to make this smaller. We want to crop this in from the sides. Doesn't give me a lot of wiggle room here, but... Uh, sure, let's go with that. And then we want to... Add this. Okay. We'll adjust the threshold accordingly. And let's go with that. Okay. Now we'll take this one and we will cut it from the scene. Oh, no, wait. What am I moving here? God damn it. Move the... Oh my God. Why? All right. There. So, uh, is that... Okay, now we'll lock it here. And here we are. Um, good. Okay. So, yeah, that's the, that's the, um, well, how, how what about our scene switches? Is this going to work? Okay, yeah, we're, we're fast back to this one. Uh, well, boom. That all takes a little bit of time to pop up. I think I have those set to... I mean, I could. I want the camera to close when it's not in use because I. But I guess the capture card doesn't necessarily need to. Okay. So we can do this and now the capture card will always be there on time, but it'll take me a couple seconds to go. Hello, here I am. Zap. Ba bow. That works. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, shit. I mean, I you know now that I mean now that I'm looking at this, what if we, you know, what what if we did some what if we did some video games? Just a few. I don't know which ones. And um, let me make sure that I've got the. Yeah. Okay, so I, f I think I maybe fixed the thing that was causing, or at least found a workaround for the stuff that was causing the, uh, the audio issues. Thoughts on the video toaster for the Amiga. I, you know, the video toaster. Uh, we used it when we were doing public access television. We didn't use it so much ourselves as we took it to someone and had them run it through a video toaster and a time-based con converter and stuff. But I, we, we did uh, some light work on an Amiga, but it was not a video toaster enabled Amiga. Uh, the toaster's cool. It is probably cooler now than it was then. I mean, it was a vital thing for a lot of... Um, uh, for for a lot of video editing back then. Uh, it was kind of the gold standard for a very, very long time. I think it would be pretty cool to have one now. Uh, but, you know, I don't really have a, a good reason to have one. Uh, Stefan asking... Uh, have I played the Let It Die sequel yet? Yes, I did. I played a few matches of it, and then I went to stream some of it, and no one was playing, so it never connected, and so I uninstalled it. I don't think it's a very good game, but I was like, oh, well, I'll, I'll stream some of it anyway and, and show it, but then we just sat at a matching screen for 10 minutes, and I was like, okay, F this. Let's do something else. So so that was that. Um. It's a very different game from the original Let It Die. I thought the original Let It Die has a lot more flavor to it. I think this sequel being not made by Grasshopper, like, you know, like there's just a totally different thing going on. You know, it, I, I don't like the style of the, of the new game. I don't, I don't think it's very good. And it's, you know, I don't know. It's, it's kind of a whatever battle royale, royale kind of, kind of game, the battle royale kind of game. Blah, man. Um, okay, so I have been messing around lately with, uh, MSX stuff as they are, um, someone is, is working on a replacement for the MSX core on the Mr. That is better at just loading individual images like the. The existing core is better at like loading like hard drive images full of games, which is mostly useful, but like kind of if you've just got an individual thing that you want to try to throw in there, it's not it's not really great at that. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I, I've been kind of screwing around with this off and on, and I, I don't I don't know. It's I want to really I kind of I, I want to dig in on. Um, individual platforms and really like get a good sense of what's what with some of these things because the MSX was just not a you know it was not a computer you really thought about or heard about in the United States until emulation became a thing and that's really this is a really grimy version of this game, man. Oh. This, this is a really, oh man. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you think this is a little too loud. I can I can drop it down a bit, but uh Oh, I see. Okay. I was like, "Wait, why why did I not respawn? I guess you got to hit a button."
But for you know, for its time, this is uh, this is not. Well, I don't know. Th this is maybe not the best example of it, but I, I feel like there are games on the MSX that are at least somewhat similar to their NES counterparts. And uh, what is this? this guy just over here just dancing now, huh? Okay, we've got the big grenades, we've got the big bullets. This game's full of cool noises. Uh. Oh, I didn't realize there was speech there. Wait, that's not in... Uh, no other version of the game has that. Hell yeah! Like, the arcade version doesn't even do that. <laughs> there's a... There's a real filth to this game, man! Look at this fucking thing! Look at that tank sprite! And how fucking transparent it is! And it's so good! Yo, why did my tank disappear? Normally they blow up when they run out of gas. Brah! That's not, that's super not in any other. That's so crazy. The yeah is not, is not found in other versions of this game. Also enemies tend in, in most versions of the game, the enemies do not tend to stop like that. They don't run on screen and then stop moving. Um. But like, you know, this is recognizable as Akari Warriors. I feel like this is really, this is really in line with the NES port of the game. In terms of how it feels and, and generally kind of acts, I'd, I wouldn't be surprised if the, well, the level design is not the same, I don't think. Uh, I'd have to go back and look for a real, but I got an itchy nose today. Cause it's Friday and we're yayed up. It's payday. Meet me in the bathroom. Um. Wah! And then this whole thing with like me having to hit the fire button to respawn is really weird too. Uh, I mean that that is not how any other version of the game I can think of operates. You know, not as many sound channels as an NES, as far as I... Well, from listening to this, that's what it seems like. Maybe it's just not a good version of the game, but... Ah! Wah! A kills everyone on screen. You see. Um, but yeah, you know, there's. I, I'm not. I don't know what format it should take, but that's a. It's a. It's a video. It's. It's something I want to do. In a few different ways, honestly, when it comes to, like, what are different ways to organize old games? You know, because it's. It's. I. I also just like. Hey, fuck it. We're here hanging out, and and let's just play what comes to mind if people have suggestions or, or whatever like you know we'll play whatever um i think that's a totally okay way to to do it but like sometimes i'm like you know what 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 the fuck is the msx really i feel like i know um but there's a lot of stuff like when you look at a full list of like you know what has been generally like dumped and preserved for the msx there's just a lot on there 
in a lot of different file formats also, you know, because obviously some games came on cartridges, others came on disc. There's a lot of tanks. There's too many tanks. But that was pretty cool. I think that this version of the game is also attempting to... What is that? What is that collectible? A spread shot? Are you crazy? This is Akari Warriors. Why you got a spread shot in here? They took liberty. Look at that. Little extra lives, I guess. That was just not something. Okay. Like, I, again, I... That is not something that was in the arcade game and not something that was in other versions of the game. I'm not, is this secretly the best version of the game? I'm going to say no, <laughs> but uh, there's an ambition here that isn't in the other home ports that I've seen. Unless the, you're counting the, the, the 2600 version, which is ambitious, because like, who would, who would dare to put this game? FBKS. That's who. No. We got to figure out a way to get out of this tank, because the tanks, the tanks can't swim. Okay, the game just decided you're out of the tank now. I'm kind of blown away by this, honestly. Uh, this is a this is a weird this is a really weird version of this game. You know, but wow, the the eight bit the NES version of this game is also really strange, uh, but it doesn't really reveal that strangeness until like way later on. Like, the later levels of that game are really weird, and and they it has a bunch of stuff in it that are not that that, that was not in the arcade version of the game. Um, so they definitely took some liberties with that version as well. But like this one. This version feels like I it would have all oh wow. Like I bet this version has all that stuff in it too. And then also is weird in some different ways, but I I don't know. Are these extra lives or are they just like points? It's just like it's hostages. You got a thousand points for Also the way the music uh tempo changes depending on how if you're scrolling the screen or not is uh really good. thing about having red bullets is that you can just shoot tanks with them and they die and they die. Wah! Okay. Keep getting wide.
Come on now. Come on now! Man. Wah! Uh, I, I wasn't sure if those were landmines or not because they they kind of act like the... Uh, there's like an airstrike thing that will appear and if you stand on it, a missile will come and blow you up. And I thought maybe it was one of those because with those, you usually have time to like, get out of the way before the missile gets there. But mines are mines. What are we doing here? Can I even shoot that guy? There we go. No on-screen indication of how many lives I have left or what's going on. So I don't... That guy's just shooting a wall. That guy's just shooting behind him. They're just having a good time. Like, it's Friday. Shoot these guns. I don't know if you've seen, like, any of the other Akari Warriors games. I like this one. I, I mean, I like the first in, in, I, I like the first one. I played it a lot in arcades, finished it numerous times. Um, thought it's, it had, so in, in, in arcades, this game had a, like, a rotating joystick uh, that would, you would use to determine which way you were aiming, which was innovative and interesting at the time. Um, you know, I think we've we've all uh, gotten used to dual joysticks these days in in ways that make the idea of a rotating joystick for like Forgotten Worlds or Akari Warriors kind of silly. Um, but yeah, my dad and I played this game co-op quite a bit and would finish it, you know, routinely. And, you know, you just keep putting enough money into it until it's over and you will finish the game. Um. Ah! Ah! The block is hot. Uh, but then they went on to make more Akari Warriors games, and I just feel like they're fucking... They're, they're terrible. They're, well, I don't know. They're weird. Like, Victory Road is a weird... When you think about this game as, like... It's just two guys who look kind of like Rambo running around doing a kind of Rambo shit. Uh, but yes, uh, other than the amazing speech at the opening of Victory Road... And then, you know, whenever you go in the shop in Victory Road, I think that speech is pretty good, too. Um, like, the second, it's like, yeah, it's, are, are they aliens? Is it what the, I, I don't know what the deal is. Like, but this is the, I think even the NES version of Akari Warriors gets a little weird in a slightly supernatural way, if I remember right, by the end of it. Ah, they blew up my tank. But it's fine, because the tanks don't blow up in this version. You just get out. The tank disappears. Instead of you having to go like, Oh my god, I gotta, gotta get out, strategically get out of this tank before it blows up. Wah! Man. Brutal. This bridge is brutal. I like the progression of, uh, oh yeah, now there are two tanks. Yeah, I don't know. Is it, does this have, is this having unlimited lives? Anything's possible when you're loading this stuff up, but like, I don't know. This was just billed as Akari Japan with no, no 
signification that it has trainers or anything else going on. There we go. We ran out, we ran out of lives. We found it. We found it. Hmm. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, that's an interesting, weird thing. Um, I was wondering if Victory Road was on the MSX, but we do have this cool other Xevious. This is the same version, or the, or the same Xevious that was on the PC Engine, but I imagine this version's not as good. Xanak, hell of a shooter. Um, someone was saying Castlevania? Did that come out as Castlevania? What is, is, that, is that vampire killer on this platform? Yeah. Thank you, Jinxman! And uh, Cluter31. And Ground. Ground Filer? Ground Flyer. And Power Yell! And Nannerpus. And NoCam103! And Kitty Hawk with X's around it. And Jason G Bird. Yeah, Konami was real big on the MSX. MSX not big on scrolling. Feels weird. Oh, this is the version where you have to like solve, you have to collect stuff, right? This is the right. This is a weird game. We'll get, we got to get that key. we can open chests like that one it was a big heart great you would think the keys open doors but not anymore buster did I just loop all the way around? Yeah, here's an area with no key and no chest because we looped around. It's just the range on the attack feels very weird. I mean, obviously, I you know, this is much shorter than the long-ass whip you get in some other... Some other video games might have you believe that a whip could be twice as long as this. Not Vampire Killer. I'm not even sure how I would, how I would get over there. Oh, I, I mean, that's I can fall here, right? This isn't these aren't blocks. Ah, well, let's let's see what this one is. It's a shield of some kind. Oh, that's cool. Thanks, thanks for that. But like I, so I'm collecting hearts, but I don't feel like I have the ability to use them on anything. You. 
Well, we've got a key. We've got a door. Oh, do you need... Is it... Two, you need two keys to open the door? If I, is that... I vaguely remember spending some time with this. And not getting anywhere. <laughs> Just wandering around being like, What the f Fuck you, stupid cat. Ugh. Is this just here to- is- oh, oh! Hello there. Oh. Did you- did you take- did you steal hearts from me for attacking you? Is that- Oh, you gave me more. Okay. Alright. Yeah, so this game's weird. Here's that other chest. I guess we, yeah, I guess we could I mean I guess we could get this. We we run out of keys. Look at this. Look at how high we're jumping now. to do this, so... I mean, yeah, we were here. We looped around. We did this before. You stupid... Ugh! And this is this room, and now that stupid cat's back. Anyway, this is probably about as far as we're gonna get in Vampire Killer. And then we've looped back around this way. Is there another staircase that goes up off the screen that I'm missing? Do I just need to get enough hearts to get the knife? Maybe? Oh hell, I don't know. Great. Doing great. This is this area here. Oh, hey. Ah! Great. So is this like a skeleton key that will open anything, and now I can go back and get that other chest? Or am I going to waste this key on that chest and then not be able to escape? I'm willing to wager that this is going to be a different type of key, and that it will let me get out. And, and but will it also open this? That's my question. It will not. And now we're just gonna die here instead. We're so low on health. Hey man, the key to exit this level, we've hidden it inside a wall. Good luck. Fuck off. Love Konami. Alright, this is it. Oh, that's a great noise. Oh, I can't just fall here. That's, a, that's very annoying. I mean, but uh, this is another solid example of just like, hey, 
here's this weird MSX version of a thing that is is like significantly different than the game you're thinking of. How is the MSX version of Xanak? We might have to load up the NES version of Xanak. Look at this picture of this space jet. They build this game as like, it's got AI, it's reacting to you, it's gonna get harder or easier depending on how you're doing. Xanak is the ultimate video game. I'd say this is mostly recognizable as Xanak. I shouldn't have gotten the two there. The shield's pointless. But I just couldn't remember what was what. We want zero. Zero is actually the default weapon. But if you level it up, it's a pretty good multi-directional thing. But what fun is that? I mean, let's try the weapons. Okay, yeah. Three is the little spinny thing. We got a bunch of sixes here. Uh, six is like a friggin' bomb that affects everything on screen, but only when it hits something. This, I don't know if this version is going to have the sound effects the way that I need them. The NES version has um, these guys that will just come on screen and, and they shoot out these little banana-looking shots at you. And the sound it makes, my uncle, who um, I, su I should say was crazy... decided that that sound effect sounded like a bum beating on a trash can. That that thing, this thing. Yeah, kind of. It's it's a little scratchier here than it is on the NES, but Ah. Crazy or a genius, you be the judge. My uncle would make instant coffee and he would make it cold. Ah! Because he didn't have time. He felt he didn't have time to make hot coffee. But no, I, I, I can have it now. If it's, let's make it cold. Alright. This was before before Starbucks, maybe, or I don't know, before I ever saw Starbucks. What is Labyrinth? Is it based on the movie? Huh. Well, okay. Oh, shit. Are we missing a font here? Are we missing a kanji font? Yeah, I, I should say that this MSX core is uh, is uh, in progress. It is not uh, something. This this is like a remade MSX core that is not um, not part of the official Mister distribution right now. So it may be, or at least the MSX two side of it is not. Oh, weird. This is like. I like how we're running to the right, but the, the little radar there at the bottom is moving to the left. Alright. What's up? Is this, is this Hoggle? 
Can I give him an item? Is that the... Yeah, so we're probably missing some fonts or something here. Uh-oh. Big log in the middle. We're fucked. Guess not. That's what that was. That's what that was on the, the map. Just a big just a log hanging out there. Oh, I got something chasing me here. Or something, yeah, something that moves. When I move, it moves. Just like that. Alright, this is going to be unplayable without being able to read what the hell is going on with this inventory or whatever's happening at the bottom of the... Oh, it says pack in video. Like, for a second there, I was like, does that say fuck boy? Fucking boy? Wait, wait. Alright, we're lost in the labyrinth. We did it. Uh, you have no power over me. What do I, hang on, what do I... Oh, I see. Okay, we actually, this is a, like a dialogue thing. Yeah, so we're... Obviously, I think this is supposed to be in Japanese, and... We're probably missing the... The ROM of the, the kanji... Font which some MSXs had and some didn't, if I remember correctly. I, I don't... I've been thinking about that a lot lately, that there's just a lot of computers that uh, if you didn't have them... The, if you didn't have the real thing growing up or if you didn't have the real thing somewhere... Um, that you'd, it's, you, you, you would not be able to easily figure out how to even load a game. Yeah, get out there and... Yeah, if you could get out there and, uh... Spray paint. <laughs> Fuck boy, fucking boy all over town. Uh, it just, yeah, get out there and get up. That's what the... That's what the game was about. That's what Mark Echo was trying to convey with, uh, getting up contents under pressure. Yeah, this, uh... Yeah, so I don't know. That's, that's cool that there's another Labyrinth game. I played the Commodore 64 game quite a lot and finished it eventually. It's not an easy game. Well, I don't know. It wasn't an easy game then. Maybe it is. Um, obviously everyone thinks about the Metal Gear games, you know, and, uh, when they think about the MSX, that's, that's sort of the, the go-to, like, oh, that's where those games originally came out. Oh, hey, is there a, an RBI baseball for the MSX? Looks like yes. Speaking of my uncle, who, by the way, was crazy. Uh, he and my dad played a lot of RBI baseball. Oh my. Oh, that's good every time you hear it, isn't it? Belted to deep left. Yeah, that's right. Keep him busy. Can't afford to let me get to third. Shit. Fuck. Okay. Oh, fuck it. Oh. Hmm. Throat just oh man, it cuts me off before I can. 
got a, a, a side, uh, a side winder, a side, uh, sidearm on the mound here. Like friggin' Brett Saberhagen out here. I like that there's a whole class of baseball video games from this era where, like, You can hit a ball to the wall and still only get a single, or, or hey, you can hit a ball to shallow right and be thrown out at first. Just like the stuff that doesn't, the stuff that doesn't line up with real baseball in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> this is like, oh, that, that almost never happens. Gonna roll the wall. That's a fucking hot triple right there. Oh, fucker. Yeah. No! Get back! Oh my god! Okay. We're going for three. And we'll get it. All right, there's already two outs, right? I should just go. Yeah. All right, baseball. This is a pretty good RBI baseball. I mean, you know, as as uh, versions of Famista go, this is uh, a pretty good one. I, rem I remember really being kind of blown away hearing that like this franchise was still like there's a 3ds installment in this franchise that still is kind of this um I see penguin adventure yeah we could load up some penguin adventure i assume it's in here somewhere um Nintendo's first party baseball game is not good. I mean, but it's not a scam. Like it it's Okay, like you wouldn't play it now. As speaking as someone who played it uh within the last 3 4 months, I would say don't go play it now. You don't need to go play original Nintendo baseball now. Also, I I've I played the Game Boy version of it, um which is largely the same uh, because it has retro achievements. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, the pitcher's the cutoff man on a throw from third to first. It's, it, it, it's a big diamond, you know? What are you gonna do? A ball. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um... Oh, is there one of these on the Switch? Huh. That's, uh, yeah, you know, I... I don't know, at some point they... At some point we didn't see my uncle around the house as much anymore. I forget the reasons why. And they, you know, they, they didn't play. My, my dad kind of stopped playing video games around. Like, RBI Baseball was probably, like, the last video game he cared to play. Uh, and he pretty much only played it with my uncle. And then and then that was that. So, uh, when my uncle died, they went and cleaned out his, his place. And I got my guitar back, which I had lent him, or, you know, when I was... 
extremely young. He said, hey, you're not playing your guitar. Let me take it. And then never gave it back. Um, and I got his copy of RBI Baseball, <laughs> among other things. But And some and some telescopes, because he got really into, f <laughs> into fine optics. Uh, the story I heard is that he was... He, and so this is this is actually this is where the the this is where the concept of a guard bike comes from. Um, this when I guess they were kids, and they were pretending that sticks were guns. Um, if they found a really good stick that was like the perfect shape of a gun, they wouldn't use that one. My uncle would be like, "No, we have to put this one in the bush. This is the guard gun in case we need it." And then. Uh, when I was living at the weird, when I was living at the compound, we found a bike in the park home run. You see it every day. Um, we found a bike and then threw it, and and we you know we beat the shit out of it with a baseball bat, honestly. But uh, but we just had this bike and we threw it in a bush. And I was like, and I said, no, that's that's the guard bike. <laughs> we need the guard bike to keep us safe. Um, I don't know if I ever told my dad that we had done that. And two back to back inside the park home runs happens all the time. Um, so my uncle would. I guess he he got way into he was he did not go fishing but he got way into fishing reels and he would go I guess to various stores and he so he got into he got into binoculars like optic into fine optics and he got into oh I'm I'm fucking playing defense um he got into fishing reels and he would shoplift them and he wanted to get two of each one one that he could keep pristine and then one that he could turn and the one he could, he could hold it up to his ear and hear the click and, the click, click, click and he would listen to the he would listen to it click I guess I don't know out of his fucking mind and so when he when he died I you know and they and they went and cleaned out his place like you know I ended up with new inbox telescopes and like a fucking uh a commercial grade microscope of some kind that was like the sort of one that like a high school would have actually it's not that fancy but it like you know it's like type of like like the the double eye microscope that has the plastic that drapes over it i've got that out in the garage somewhere uh, i did not end up with any of the fucking fishing reels i don't know what happened to the fishing reels but I guess there were stores in his area that he could not uh, go to any longer. I fucked that up. I could have. I could have stopped the play at the plate. What was he cooking? I, you know, he was. He definitely he lived in an area where it would not have been out of character for him to be cooking meth. But I, he was not cooking meth. I don't know. He was in the military, and I don't think he saw any action per se. But I think he was like stationed in like Germany during Vietnam or something. You know, like something weird like that. Um, and uh, I, I feel like the story I always heard was that when he came back from the military, he was fucked up. Try and bunt. Yeah, that's how that went. There's not really a bunt so much as there is I can check a swing and, you know, and the catcher just seems to catch it every time. Okay. Um,
I was worried there for a sec. Wasn't sure if the shortstop had the arm for it. Oh! I need to take my pitcher out. I should have. I should have subbed for him there. Oh. That get. realized I don't know how to do that. Let's try the escape key. Nope. <laughs> oh, well. It was probably F1 or something like that. Um, is Penguin Adventure is probably an MSX1 game, right? So... There are way more MSX1 games than MSX2 games, as far as I can tell. Hmm. Perhaps it is so advanced that it needs to be on disc. Antarctic Adventure? Okay. I got a European version, and that's okay. That's play with joystick. <clears throat> Spool. Oh, right, this game. fast. We want to push up and go full frickin' speed. I would take this over Rad Racer. game also predict the future? there, wherever there is. Oh no! Go! Oh. USA! D.
They should have, you know, they should have had like Otacon playing this or something. Is there some code? Is there some hidden codec conversation about penguins? That is a sick reference to this game. Maybe we'll add it. You know, I didn't realize for the first 20 seconds or so that you could push up to go faster. So maybe that's maybe we will still make it, but we'll see. I don't know. For the era, this seems OK. I would take this in line with something like a, you know, you envision this running on a Famicom. And. Uh, you know how much smoother it would probably be. I would take this I would take this gameplay over slalom. How about? And slalom's an alright game, I don't you know. Is that a codec coming in? Alright, now we've gotta carry uh our mother's dead body to the next station. But yeah, I don't know. This is like, a, this is an okay driving game. I guess this is what you would you have to kind of call it, right? It's. This, this leg was easy. So we're back in the U.S. Is, is there just, are there only two? Looks like there are more legs to this journey than. Just penguin flag and USA flag, but. Ugh. Brutal. Oh. So, yeah, I guess this is Kojima's first game, right? That's the. That's the wrap on this. Is that everybody starts somewhere? Everyone makes a cool penguin racing game? Whether it's this or, or you know, Pen Pen Tri Salon, uh, you know, that's a great game, but it's missing something compared to this, is what I'm saying. Do you think the developers of Pen Pen Triathlon looked at this game at all? Because they were like, hey man, like when was the last time anyone made a penguin racing game? Or, or, do you, or maybe they were just like, come on. Oh man, so close. Damn. That's brutal. That is brutal, 1984. I guess that's also, you know, like a key thing to remember is what, 1984 is like a year after the Famicom came out, right? So when you think about this hardware standard and what other games were looking like for consoles in this era, we're talking like Gen 1, you know, the early 
the games that would become the black box NES games, you know, fucking Donkey Kong. Fucking Donkey Kong. <laughs> Um, bottom pants. What is Bruce? Is Bruce? Is this a, is this the same Bruce Lee? Is this an MSX version of that Bruce Lee game? That Bruce Lee game. I think is really yeah. This is it. This is the DataSoft. Oh, this is, this is a decent. Oops. Oh, maybe not. Maybe this is all fucked up. This is, but it like it, 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 uh, you know, moves at a decent speed, I guess is the, is my point. Anyway, um, Burger time. Hole in one. JP Winkle. Do they make porno games on the MSX? Let's find I'd... Venom Strikes Back. Yeah, there's yeah, the The mask games are really rotten. ASCII Corpse, J.P. Winkle. Oh, man. Look at this. So, I can... There's a jump button, but I can also hit up to jump. The other button seems to decimate these uh, question marks. This doesn't... Can I jump here? No, that... that No. So I have to go this way. This is, sucks. <laughs> huh. Well, I can jump two blocks high, so I guess I can go in here, but... If I go in here, I'll be trapped, right? Well, let's find out if this is that kind of game. Yeah, I assume you probably want to get all the question marks. And then, uh, and then use the key to get to the exit. That's probably what we're supposed to do here. So kind of a load runner esque sort of vibe to it in terms of, hey, if you do this wrong, you're going to be trapped and there's probably a button somewhere to kill yourself. But who knows what that button is? I don't. JP Winkle. Doomed to live out the rest of his days, all 670 seconds of them. Here. Here in hell. Burn in hell, J.P. Winkle. Burn in hell. Jump. Jump coaster. Jump land. Jumping rabbit. I'm glad the jump franchise is well represented here. Oh, King and Balloon. I didn't realize all... Oh, man, this is a MSX version of Keystone Capers? What? The Activision Atari 2600 Classic. Okay. All right. Let's make this an MSX, MSX one and see what happens. A 
Okay. It just reboots at that point. All right, let's try this other version. See if we have any luck here. You bought pirate cassette tapes with random MSX games? Nice. That's the hot shit right there. Uh, can I play Kick It? Can I play Kick It? Get ready. Oh shit! I guess I do. I, do I want to want to get everything or? Okay, so we don't want to leave those cat statues out on a ledge. That doesn't seem to do anything. Do we just get the? Do we get those? Do we have to get these as quickly as possible? Do the, can we get those? Get yeah. Okay. That appears to be the goal. Buttons don't seem like they do anything. Oh, I can walk off the edge. Look at that. How fancy. I'm just a fucking set of legs and fucking pants over here. I don't want to be one of these fucking weird old dudes that is like, games were better before, but look at this. I'm just a fucking pair of fucking pants and shoes. And I'm walking around, and there's these weird, giant, hatted... Get ready. I should look and see if this was, like, made in, like, 2007 or something like that. If this is some kind of homebrew masterpiece. Can I touch the cat things? No. Yeah, let's let's reset this. I'm curious what the year on this is. If this is going to be like this was made in 2014. Yeah, this is not. This feels like something that was made more recently, but I don't know. Uh, congratulations to Lex Luthor for branching out into music. And it's great music, honestly. <laughs> oh, the the classic. That is that an MSX? Is oh shit an MSX game, or is that as what is that? Nineteen eighty-seven. For kick it, all right. That's uh, that's that's okay. Well, well, that counts. Ladder building. Yo, we got this hot game coming out. What'd you call it? Ladder building. Oh, that that is the oh shit. Yeah, that is the oh shit people, isn't it? Echo, Echo Soft or whatever. Ladder building. You appealed... To the, okay, we've got the buildings down, but I'm waiting to see these ladders. Oh, another... Another case of... Uh, of bad BIOS ROMs or... Like I said, if you if you just joined us, I am playing this on the Mister. This is uh, an unstable and unreleased version of the MSX. There, there's okay. There's an MSX core for the Mister. Someone has gone and made a new one that is a little bit more compatible and has uh, some more options here. And they have uh, originally just made it as an MSX one core, and they've added MSX two support to it. But that is, you know, unstable and, and not uh, not widely. Not widely released yet. You, I mean, that's not... It's on... You can go grab it on the Mr. Discord. It's not hard to get or anything. But, um... 
you know, if we see some un instability or some weirdness around some of these fonts, uh, that's almost certainly why. Oh, what? Okay, I don't know what... Oh, don't go in that one. That's on fire up there. Let's get the extinguisher. Uh, can we use the extinguisher to kill this man? Oh, he went in here with me. Now he's gone. Well, that fire is out. Oh. So what is... The, yeah, so... Uh, it doesn't look like oh shit is in this directory, but... Um... But yeah, what, sorry, what was, oh, is, oh shit is a, an MSX game, right? No, uh, Mr. Do versus Unicorns is not a ROM hack. That is the Japanese name for Mr. Do's castle. This is a very slow moving, very slow pouring game of Mr. Do. That's not what's supposed to happen when you collect the... They've taken liberties with Mr. Dew here. No, Mr. Dew's, uh, Mr. Dew's castle was known as Mr. Dew versus Unicorns. Versus Unicorn. Unicorns. Well, this is, a. Uh... It moves pretty well, and this is a pretty good ver you know, this is pretty representative of the music. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty good That's what that sounds like in the arcade version when you move those ladders over. That's pretty good. There are some bad home versions. There's like a, a prototype, like an unreleased version of this game on the 2600 that is a real mess. I mean, granted, it, it was never released, but... Mr. Do's Wild Ride. I, mean, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know what the MSX version of this is going to look like, but it's, it's a, sh it's a terrible game. There are two great Mr. Do games, and I see why, um, I see why someone might try to keep making Mr. Do games because they had such a hot property on their hands. Uh, you know, you don't, you don't leave the table when the cards are hot. And after two Hall of Fame bangers, like Mr. Do and Mr. Do's Castle, you gotta keep going, right? But this game sucks. And Do Run Run, the other... The other one? Terrible. Terrible video game. MSX audio program. Um, but we were we were looking for oh shit. Let's see if we can find oh shit, and then yeah, some some people want to see like Nemesis or Salamander or something. But let's uh, is oh shit a 
Let's... All right, it's not there. Is it a disc game? Oh no. Oh shit. Okay. So let's reset detached cartridge and then let's insert a disc. And then we probably need to reset with the disc mounted. Yeah, maybe we'll play a little oh no. This is Joey, Paul, Willie, and Frankie. This is Joey, Paul, Willie, and Frankie. Oh no, I'm not playing. I want to play. This is the demo. All reloaded is faster than reaching over for the keyboard. This is Joey, Paul, Willie, and Frankie. All right, here's a, this is a totally original video game. I've never seen anything like it. There's nothing out there quite like, oh shit. It's only because I've played oh shit before that I know the rules of this game. going for the perfect game of oh shit. I've got an American flag tie, but instead of red, white, and blue, it's red, white, and brown. Is that a, can I find that? Is that on Polygon? Where can I read the oral history of oh shit? Like who's out there doing that work? Like who, does it need to be me? Is this my calling? It won't let me like, look, we made an arcade game. You got to use, you got to use the. This is Joey, Paul, Willie, and Frankie. Joey, Paul, Willie, Frankie, Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, Mike. All right. This and, is Joey, Paul, Willie, and Frankie. And so we also have, oh no. I guess released by Eaglesoft in the Netherlands. Oh, 
difference. Now I want to see, I assume that they just replaced that one audio sample. Oh no, this Eagle Song. Oh. Wow, they, they a mo much more this is, and uh, they took out the joystick test <laughs> off of that menu. This is Joey, this is Paul, this is Willie, and this is Frankie. All right, here we go. Uh, I feel like this starts off faster. Maybe I'm wrong. No, this, okay, this seems okay. Seems like I was moving there faster out of the gate there for a couple seconds, and then it slowed down. Or am I just fucking crazy? I will accept uh, any answer. <laughs> This is... As fake Pac-Mans go, this one's not bad. Like, it's very controllable. It, uh, it, it moves well. The controls are responsive. Like, there are tons of fucking... Oh, so they didn't even record an oh no. They just took out the oh shit. Weak. When will these fucking companies stop censoring our games? When will they stop? It's not fair! I'm an adult! I can play video games that cuss, okay? Censoring creators! Any talk about the oh shit, oh no controversy on social media is being shadow banned and censored. And it's high time we did something about it. Please like, comment, and subscribe and let them know it's not okay to take away our video games. I'm just gonna become that, I'm gonna become that type of dude. where the money is. Ronald Vander Putin went on to work for the man, according to Lincoln. Yeah. Figures. Couldn't handle the heat. Oh, shit. Yeah, honestly, yes. The the oh, they even they even lifted the cutscenes, huh? Pretty good. Man, by level three, this thing's fucking cooking, huh? No, I'm right, right. Like the first like couple of seconds, he moves faster and then eventually slows down, right? Like I'm not crazy. That's happening, right? Right. I'm going to say the ghost AI in this game is could use a little work. They seem like they bunch up a little too much. Oh. 
Oh man, that's a costly mistake. All right, enough of this. Man, they made some choices with this one, didn't they? This is Joey, this is Paul, this is Willie, and this is Frankie. They had some ideas when they came when it came time to, to censor oh shit, they were like, Well, we can't just we can't just remove the speech we can't just Joey, change the speech and ship it. Like we have to really rethink Willie, this from the this ground up. Frankie. Uh, we've got to make some changes to the title screen. We, we've got to we got to change it up. We got to freshen up. Oh shit! For a younger audience, younger audiences like repetition when saying "this is," but they don't like repetition when saying "oh no." They feel like they're being uh, admonished for something they didn't do, and so we're gonna remove. Uh, yeah, I wonder. I wonder what happened there. Again, the oral history of of oh shit. The oral history of Octagon Squad. This is Joey. This is Paul. This is Willie. How does this compare to actual Pac-Man on MSX? Yeah, I guess I hadn't. I mean, yeah, I'm sure there there must be some official version of it, isn't there? Yes. Look at these fucking guys. Mastertronic, uh, a name you can always associate with quality. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm. That is. Uh, that is going to have to make the new soundboard, isn't it? Oh boy. Dude. Disable door mode on. Micro screen. Disable door mo all right, what All right, we, we managed to pause the game. Okay. That is, I can't, I can't look at this anymore. <laughs> so we've got uh, some bootleg Pac-Man on disc, but I'm sure that um, what we're looking for is probably actually a cartridge. Yeah. In this one, uh, Pac Man says, Oh, fuck. Yeah, I don't know. How do we know? Yeah, who who are these ghosts? We don't know. This is Jeremy. This is Willis. Uh, this is fine. I don't know. It doesn't say, oh shit, when you die. So, I'm kind of not really that into it. I do like that, you know, they've, they've kind of tried to maintain something resembling a vertical aspect ratio for the maze. Like, the, the general size of it seems fine. That's what they did with a lot of these 
home versions where they had to put it on a TV as they moved the score and stuff over to the right side. Like the uh, the NES version is, is pretty much the same there. Um, yeah. You know, not bad. But again, you know, it's no, it's no, oh shit. Let's assume this is, uh, what we're looking for. Oh, gosh. I mean, we want to be the Vic Viper. Let's not be crazy. I feel like not writing the names of the power-ups on the power-up thing is really <laughs> brutal. I don't want double. I guess it says it to the side. It just says it in Japanese, right? Okay. Damn it. Oh, shit. So is this going to be missile? Yeah, okay, there we go. For the... Yeah. Oh, stupid. Press F5 to go fuck yourself. All these games are lewd now. When you load oh shit on an MSX, it, it kind of breaks everything else in a weird way. Pinball blaster. What is that? Cyberchers. From Cy Ankle of Cybernetic Adventures during 1980, a small group of computer fanatics divided as it was time for them to shake things up a little bit. They started a revolt against society that they only slightly remember from those dark days. Their actions, uh, the ironclad values, and long traditions. The revolt spread like a bushfire. Within five years, a new species emerged, only bred to hold on to the next game. They were called the Cybers. So, this is kind of rad, like conceptually. The idea that I'm just like shooting. Like, we put, we put a gun into pinball. Those pinball effects? Fuckos never did that. And they had, they made a Doom game and they were like, no, flippers. Looked like if I held down the button there too long, it would eventually stop shooting, like it would overheat or something. I don't know. How do you lose a ball? Oh, did I? Did I okay, I see. We're. Like that. That's how you lose a ball. This is a neat idea.
audio maybe leaves a little bit to be desired. Perhaps a touch. And the way the play field is like constantly redesigning itself is some nonsense. Like I can't really do much here. There's not, I only I have so many angles for shooting. There's something to this. Yeah, if you if you if you made like a hyper like crazy kinetic like very um you yeah there there could be a neat one there could be something like this it could be kind of awesome as, as like a modern take on this huh That's that's cool. This is cool. Pinball blaster is a neat idea. Um, you've heard of Roger Rabbit. Well, now there's Roger Rubbish, also known as Roger Rabbit, because fuck Roger Rabbit. <laughs> now we're fucking gaming. Uh, this man with a helicopter head appears to be uh, ejaculating onto this space stuff. Snake it! I feel like we don't need to load up Snake It to know exactly what game Snake It is. Superboy 1, hmm. Superboy 2, hmm. Superboy 3, hmm. Super Bioman 4, though. I'm going to go with Superboy 3. Was there something in there called Super Drinker? There he is, it's Superboy. Here he is. Superboy Kingdom, here we come. I cannot duck. Oh no, Superboy! Superboy has jumped! Ah! Oh no, Superboy has jumped! What are we going to do? He has jumped, Superboy! Oh no! Can I go backwards? No. Okay, we can just do that then. Ah, uh, very smooth. I like that they leave this area that like, oh, you can crouch into here, but I guess, well, I guess if you were small, you could just hide in there. I was thinking about watching Copland again. It's been a while.
This feels bad. I don't mean to shock you, but... This weird Korean bootleg video game doesn't control as smoothly as, as maybe it, you wish it did. Well, now we need to see what the fuck Superboy 1 and 2 are, honestly. We're going to go all the way back to Superboy 1. Here it is. Come on. What are we even making here? Did we just decide that power-ups were not cool? I like that none of the, apparently the turtle shell mechanics are not in here as well. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it does have the ability to run or walk, you know, with the push of a button. Did you know secret trick to jump over the flagpole? <laughs> hey. Cannot duck. Cannot crouch. Why would... What? Let's not put any power-ups in the first level. Oh, I like that we start here. Alright, Superboy 2. What do you think it's going to be? This looks a lot like Superboy 1. <laughs> oh, wait, but it's... But it's not. Yikes. Yeah, we put this here. Uh, this is just here for show, you know, like, no, do, do, are you supposed to, can I knock a turtle shell off this and have it bounce back the other way? No? This music is killing me. Everything about this is killing me. Oh my gosh. Well, let's just double check that Super Bioman 4. I. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. Here he is. Can I just can I just go wherever? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, but I can't go past... I can't go past this. Oh, I'm stuck. Well, I don't want to start at level 5. I won't... How will I... Won't, uh, how will I know how the story goes? I see you've decided to put the... Level select uh, music here. From oh god a violent end Thank you. 
it's the weird thing is like this game is oh you stupid oh my god i feel like you it probably just wouldn't have taken much to make this an original game And what comes out of the blocks seems to be slightly random. And then we got a P-switch out of... Oh, we just can't get those, huh? I'm not going to get fooled by... I'm going to fall for no par piranha and no tailpipe. Rolling is so questionable. The way the the ground moves compared to the background is such a. Can I? Okay, we can just go. We can just go to level two, I guess. Another original tune. A mushroom. Well, we'll never know. Bio LF four. Ah, oh, the Bio Man is on the case. Bioman, incidentally, is also the name of the sophomore year rap song that I wrote with my friend Brian for my, for my biology class, where they said, write a song about, or yeah, do a, do a song and make a music video about biology. And so we very quickly rewrote the lyrics to Digital Underground's Packet Man. instead be about uh, those little capsules that foam animals uh, come out of when you get them wet. I think we got a B. Chodenshi Bioman Sentai team. Uh, yeah, so does this does this dude look like he is dressed up to, as, as he's meant to be in on that Sentai team? Or are they stealing from that too? Evil Candle? Can't jump on an evil candle. Welcome. Godspeed, you. Dude, what? I'm hitting the print screen key on that one. Well, great. What is the P for here? Is it Pio Man? <laughs> ah, ah! I want to be Super Bio Man. Cannot, cannot run across one, one block gaps. 
in this game. Oh, wait, does he have the... Like the Mario 2 fucking crouch jump? When I crouched, he started glowing. It's just a boss in here. That's it. Just your your hot Mario 3 style single screen boss fight. This is better than Super Mario Brothers 3 because it's got uh joie de vivre. <laughs> and it's about saving the world uh in a biological sense, which I appreciate. Not the weird fantasy garbage of the Mario franchise. Strange Loop is a really enticing name for a game. You are dead, it just says. That's it. Where do we want to spawn? Here. What, like, insane Metroidvania ass thing is this? Oh, I can shoot in directions. I see. And if I hit the other button, it activates my pocket. You see that in there in the lower left, I can, like, you know, presumably some sort of inventory system at play here. Well, I'll tell you, this feels terrible. The way the jumps feel, uh, everything about this game feels real bad. All right, that's that's all the strange loop I can stand. Um, wait, super synth. I need the keyboard for this. Oh hell yeah. Can I just use, can I just, I just want to be able to play the instruments. I just want to be able to use the keyboard to play. Is there, is one of these op options going to let me do that? Or do I have to plot out every note? There we go. Will this work? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, not, I need a longer keyboard. Can we, how do we, oh, can I, here we go. Noise? Is that a?
We want it low. Okay, yep. Oops. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, so when I tap the key, it, it echoes three times now. slow that echo down. That's kind of whatever. Is that detuning the other synths? Is that what that is? The other oscillators? Well, we want immediate attack. I mean, let's not be crazy here. This is neat for what it is. I don't know. Sometimes you want to hold a note down and just go, yeah, fuck yeah. Korean Tetris. I feel like there are a lot of Ultraman games, but I don't know that I would say that I have ever played a good old, a good one.
When do I turn into Ultraman? Is Ultraman flying this jet? Am I am I am I Ultraman? How do I do an Ultraman? Man versus Ultraman. Oh, we're moving. I see. I'm protecting this stupid thing. Did the boat dock or did it crash? We'll never know. Okay. Oh, all right. Look at this fine gentleman. Am I protecting this? <laughs> Are we the bad guys? Oh, is that bad? It doesn't look like I can hit him. But it doesn't seem like a good thing when he blows up the truck with a rock either. Oh, I had to cr I crash the plane into him. Naturally. One Punch Ultraman. <laughs> Wait. He blew up the truck. I punched him and then he like did a little break dance like look at me I'm badass I'm Ultraman and then what There you all right well congratulations to Ultraman for the MSX let's watch this is this going to are they going to fight can I see oh look at that and he's sh shooting his Ultraman head beams at him or his uh, arm he's, he's doing Making gang signs at this at Lobster Man. I guess we screwed that up, huh? Zader, Battle of Pegasus. Y'all want to see my Pegasus on stream? I don't think I'm supposed to show it, but sorry, his spacium beam. Showed you my Pegasus, please respond. Thanks everybody uh, for the hype for the hype train. Ogden and Dehaza Jordan for signing back up. Ah, oh, horse apples. Oh, I'm playing a okay. Psycho 61. I need Psycho 61. Uh, do I just walk on these guys? No? My Zader is getting all fucked up. Oh no, my Zader. The buttons didn't seem to do anything. Oh, we can just do this, huh? Oh, well, this I don't know that this is any better. I, I can't shoot. Oh, 
Wait, if I'm if I'm over these, then I shoot? What is this game? Who would do this? Scene two. Can I land and be the guy again? What? Uh, I want to be the guy, so to speak. Are we? Uh, we've either won or lost the Battle of Pegasus, depending on your perspective. Texas Limited. Alright, I'm honestly, there's something about the name Zexus Limited that has me terrified, so load this up and make sure it's not porn. I don't think it is. Not really a lot of uh, porn on the MSX, especially in cartridge, I'm sure, but. Okay, it's a shooter. Oh no, it's Naked Dicks! Oh, yeah. Listen to all these sound effects. This is like bad gyrus. Every noise is like a different type of like really good abrasive fucking noise. I mean, I feel like evil alien invader ships should sound fucking terrifying. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. It's like a free-moving gyrus. Like, instead of rotating around the outer edge, you just kind of float wherever. But your shots kind of generally move towards the center, like you're you're over a hole anyway. And also, the enemies never kind of land in formation. They just sort of keep coming. I don't know that I would say that it's especially fun to play, but like, sounds are pretty good. I mean, I thought we lost. I thought, did I get a bunch of extra lives or something? I don't think so. I wouldn't think so. I'm like, let's die. I'm, I'm okay with it. Unless it just starts a new game really quickly and I hit a button. There we go. I just wanted to hear what the little game over tune was like. That's all. I don't ask for much. Zexus Limited. I was looking at the art for the uh, flyer for the arcade version of Zoom 909 the other day. I don't know anything about it, but it was a good looking logo on the flyer. Don't mess with Zexus, I guess. 
Yeah, what they say. Oh, this is even more of a uh, Buck Rogers. Sega made a, a Buck Rogers game um, that was not entirely unlike this. Well, I guess the Buck Rogers game is like full screen. Uh, you're kind of not... What What is the game that's like this? This is not Buck Rogers. It's uh... Anyway. Trench runs very hot. Empty. You tell me about it. Okay, so what is that? Those are all MSX One games, but there, are, there are, there are MSX Two games. The MSX Two is, you know, mildly more powerful, and of course, that hot version of Contra we played recently. Uh, I mean, you can't do that on the MSX one. Is this just the yeah? Pony Canyon did a bunch of Activision ports in Japan, if I remember right. So this probably is just Hacker, the the computer game. Yeah. What Activision? They spelled Activision wrong. Oh, this is. A, oh, I'll look at this. Look at this fucking screen. How good is this? This wasn't in the original version of the game. Ugh. I got it. Oh, this does not even have joystick support. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, I can just, uh, let's just do this. And skip all the, <laughs> skip all the dialogue here. Uh, what do we, we want to, I forget what this part is. Um, yep, we can do that. Sure. This is a really neat looking like this. This looks a little bit better than the other versions of this game. I don't know what to do. This. So in Hacker, we are a robot. We have hacked into some kind of system and we are controlling an, a subterranean robot. And there are these tunnels underground and we can determine which way we want to go. We want to face west and then we can see how far the tunnel goes to the west. It only goes two notches to the west. It goes pretty far to the east though. So we can just for fun, let's go this way. And... Um, the game itself is you are so we're these different squares on the map are, per, are spots where you can go up and you can talk to people so we'll go to here and then we will go up oh wait probably a message saying oh you were detected look out I f I'm trying to remember the the progression of this game in English this is a dumb way for us to be playing this game there are numerous English versions of this game but we can go up and then we can call and uh, someone will come over and talk to us and then basically we barter with them we have a certain amount of cash and we have some items 
We might not have any items yet because we're just starting the game. But the idea is that you are trading items to try to get a hold of documents. And once you've assembled all the documents, then you I think you want to take them to Washington and then you win. And yes, and so so this is um Yes. Uh select. Okay, so we can say, hey, we'll give you five thousand dollars for the for the document, I guess. And then they will either say yes or no. He has given us a thing. And now we go back down. Or we have our we have our one piece of the document. And uh, now he's asking, would we like to buy the deed to a Swiss chalet? Which then, so you buy things like this with your money, and then you'll find someone who goes like, ah, oh, I've, I've got a document, but what do you got for me? And you're like, I've got the deed to a Swiss chalet. And he's like, yeah, sure. And so it's this idea of you have to go places and you, you are kind of on a time crunch because there will, as you take longer, satellites will be overhead and they will start to try to stop you, basically. Um, and I played a ton of this game. I played a fucking ton of this game. And um, let's buy the deed. Uh, we would like to buy a watch, a chronograph, sure. I for, someone wants the watch, I know that much. And now he's gonna shadow, shadowily walk away. And so you see the, there's also, you, you see the passage of time, you see where it's dark and where it's light. And so I want to say some people only show up at certain parts of the day-night cycle, so you have to be in the right place at the right time. And also you have to know which way the tunnels go, because you can't really see the full network of tunnels. We'll go down. And we'll aim west and see where that takes us. We can go here and it, you can see that when we get there, we can go north or south. But if we go over two, we can go south. And so, you know, it, it, t today, I'm sure if you sat down with a walkthrough, this game would take fucking 20 minutes. Um, This is a much nicer looking version of this interface. I mean, they all look kind of like this. But I think the, the graphics on this tunnel and some of this other stuff look better here than uh, than some of the other home computer versions did. I was just thinking about this game. I was just, just thinking about this game. Oh, we, we, we stopped short. Um... Because I'm getting ready for the... <laughs> I'm getting ready for the next installment of the Jeff Gersman Hall of Fame and thinking about what's uh, what's going to be the next game there. And I just started thinking about what games did I play a fucking... What weird games did I play a lot of as a kid? And this is definitely one of them, but I don't... I don't... I don't know. I don't think... No. Can you refuel? That's a good question. I don't... I assume so. Oh, we have to, do we have to look around for this guy? Oh, no. I think we can look around a little bit and maybe find him soon. I say... Oh, he's talking to a robot, by the way. I say, old boy, what have you got to swap? Um, We've got $5,000. We've got... This is probably the deed to a Swiss chalet. That's no blinking good. Okay, how about uh, you want... Jolly good show. Pretty accurate uh, spy talk. So we got another piece of the document, and now he's like, do we want to buy an autographed Beatles album? We might, we might not have enough money to do it. Oh, we do. It's only 900 bucks. You want to buy the crown jewels? Yeah. We don't have enough. And he's like, well, fuck you. And he leaves. Literally tries to sell you the crown jewels. There's a pig pen over there. That's what they call that, right? So, yeah, it's... This is a neat game, but I don't... You know, it, it's... 
This is a game I, w I would actually really like to... Now that I think about it, I'm just going to watch a walkthrough of this game. You want to see America, huh? Let's see if we can get to... I assume that's New York, and I assume we'll see a Statue of Liberty. If we can get over there. That one goes up. So let's go here and see what happens. All right, that's got to go there. Nope. Ugh. Yeah, I think if you had a like a map of the tunnel network on another monitor while you were playing this, it would be way less frustrating. I'm going to guess this is a satellite surveillance activated. That's the warning message there. Will we see a satellite overhead now? No, not yet. Okay. This is, is this just a dead end? We can only go one down and it doesn't look like it shows us any other ways to go. Oh, maybe... Did we lose? Was that message saying, hey, you no longer have the ability to see the rest of the tunnel network or where the turns are in the tunnel network? Maybe that's what that was. Like some kind of power low. So now it's like I can stop here and see if it'll let us go up, but I don't know. I know we can go here. All right, let's go to DC. Look around. We're just a robot popping out of the ground, and we're like, hey, uh, you wanna? Where's our spy friend? We can look around for him. Here. There he is. Hey, buddy. No word. You want a Beatles record? He is not, this is not, this is not letting me do anything. I don't know why. Oh, well, that's what we get for playing it in Japanese. Later, sucker. Maybe you, maybe you only go see him at the end of the game. Maybe that's what it is. Like you're. You're only supposed to go to DC at the end. Nope, can't go north. Can't go west. And can't go south. What a cool tunnel. Oh, we can see a little bit of uh the rest of the net the, the, the we can go up here. I g I don't know. Anyway, this, this is, I should, I should turn this off. I should stop doing this, but I think we can get to South America. Oh, I know there's an up somewhere around here. We saw it earlier. But I don't remember where it is. It was past it was past California though. So let's go one past California and look. I see. So it's it, maybe there's some kind of satellite uplink like it occasionally shows up now and sometimes it doesn't or we have a shorter range for it or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that part of the game works. If we were playing this in English, maybe. Maybe we would have seen it.
Okay. Okay, so now you see these satellites. So when these satellites cross over us, they will basically ask us a question, which will probably be pretty difficult to answer given the language barrier. Um, and they ask you questions. So there's a part we skipped at the beginning of the game. When I typed in Australia, that's the part of the game we skipped. Uh, there's a tutorial sort of thing that's like, use the joystick to highlight parts on your robot, and it'll tell you the names of the parts of the robot. And I want to say when these satellites pass over you, th th it'll be like, well, show me your mandibular blah, blah, blah. What's happening? What do you got? That's how we talk in California. What's happening? What's happening and what's happening now? I've got a Beatles record. Sure, that's cool. And so some people will take multiple things. And so the idea is like to make sure that you don't accidentally give someone some shit that you need to give to someone else. Say, care to buy some nugget? Oh, gold nuggets? Yes. We're, almost, we're getting probably out of money here. Oh, you want to buy a 49er season ticket? It's only 200 bucks. No one wants this to fuck. No one wants to see the Niners, right? When this game was made in the mid 80s, no one was like, let's see the 49ers. That certainly wasn't a time when. Let's go down. Let's turn this off. Honestly, let's turn this off. Um, so hack, they made a sequel to it that I, I did not play until years, years, years after its release. And, and it doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, honestly, the first one only, wait, what, okay. So there's, why is this, why is there an Akari warriors and also an Akari? What is, is this going to be the same thing that we were playing earlier? Or is this a different port? Okay. This is the same thing. It's just, it's just renamed. I, I have multiple copies of the game. I have, I have different stuff in different directories, and so some of this stuff's going to be named differently. Um, Rick and Mick's Advent Return of Zelda. I'm a big fan of The Legend of Zelda. Himmel! Abilus! This is Mozam. This is Hexa. This is Jamilder. This is Bird. This is Amoeba. This is Sparta. This is Tower. Uh, there's a lot. Okay, yeah. Shit, really? Wow. I think I re vaguely remember this. Uh, this does not have joystick support. All right. Oh, can I? No. Nope. Oh. Oh. Oh God. Energy is down. We use subfuel. Velgus is repair. We can control. Velgus is broken and destroyed. Energy is down. We use subfuel. Velgus is repair. All right. I can steer with the arrow keys. Does not have joystick support. Fuck you, Star Fox. I mean, no Super FX chip. All right, I was able to shoot finally. It's the space bar. All right, we've got guns and bombs, though. We need to bomb the Piram. We need to know what the bomb button is, though. This is gaming. I hope you're enjoy. I hope you're enjoying your gaming. Okay. The, okay. The, we found is the right alt key drops bombs. Nope. That's not gonna hit. We need to throw another one. Die, fucker. That's right. Velgus is broken and destroyed.
You guys, I hurt my Velgus. So... I'm a cadet hunger. Bad. Bad. All right, what is Rick and Mick's adventure from Hummingbird Soft? Look at these guys. They're having a great time. Does it say lick? That's oh, well. So there's a this is a there's a Mr. Do like quantity to, uh quality to the ball here. Except it looks like we have to recollect the ball ourselves. It is not magic. Rick and Mick are not magicians. Uh or clowns. They don't have cool powers. The way Mr. Dew does. Quite a lot of tearing on this game. Book. There's phones in here. We got a book. Got a in here balling out in the book room. Okay. <laughs> I've, I've, I've had my fill. Um... Let's look here. We we looked at some of this stuff earlier. Oh, this Rambo game is fucking crazy. Super super Rambo special. Give you a couple minutes to super Rambo special because that's all it deserves. But uh, I, I might need the keyboard for this if I remember right. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Of course. Yeah, so this Mr. Core probably, you know, it, it is still uh, technically not uh, supposed to be playing um, MSX2 games. That's uh, uh, the the author of the core is, is working on that stuff right now. So these are these are test builds of the core and stuff. So basically, I'm like, fuck Metal Gear. Why, uh, why would I play that when I could be playing Super Rambo Special? These stealth kills. I'm doing these guys walking up and knifing them. Taking too much damage. That's it. Rambo is dead. He's not going to be able to, like, put gunpowder in his wound and burn, you know, no. No, that's it. That's it, Rambo. Your friends at Pack in Video getting it done. Out here making games based on things. I think their diehard game for the Turbo Graphics is, uh, much more successful than Super Rambo Special, but obviously, you know, that's years later. Um, so, let me switch this back here. 
well uh the msx is a, i i is a fascinating machine it had such a widespread popularity in so many territories but really had no meaningful penetration in the united states and so it's the, it exists alongside the nes in a lot of ways because of the time frame and 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 stuff but it is uh I don't know. I guess like it's more capable in some ways, but less in others, right? I mean, graphically, it's in some ways it's not that far off. And then in other other times, you see these like one color sprites with, you know, holes in the middle of them because they're just transparent on top of the background. You're like, oh, okay, we're playing some fucking SG one thousand games over here now. Um, and yeah, did the sound go bad? Oh, you're still hearing... Sorry, you're still hearing the... the. Okay, that's something I'm going to have to fix. You're still hearing Rambo audio, right? I see a meter moving. I can't hear it anymore because I, I moved away from it on the... Yeah, okay. Hmm. I wonder if I can set it so it's automatically muted in this scene, but not this scene. Does that work or does it stay muted everywhere? Yeah, it stays muted everywhere. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah, I, I had to do a weird workaround for capture card audio. I don't know what changed, if it's something on the Mr. I don't think it's on the Mr. side. I do think it's on the OBS side of things because of the, the way it is working. But whatever, we, we, we talked about that last week when we kind of solved it to an extent. But I, I will just have to be more... Um, up on my muting that source or making sure that it is not running a game when I leave it or something. I don't know. I don't know. I do know that we're, you know, we, hey, we got the transparency back, so at least there's that. We got, we got this, so I can live over here in the corner again. Um, and uh, so, so we're back there. I'll probably reinstall the captions and see how those work. And see, see, basically, I'm going to keep installing things until OBS starts locking up, and then I'll know, oh, that was the plugin that was causing my problems. Uh, so, so yeah. I'm going to get going. Have a great weekend. Um, so it gets hot, and it gets very hot in this room, even, <laughs> even when it is, uh, relatively cold outside. Um, we're in between rain right now. It, it rained pretty hard for the past couple of days. Uh, I mean, super hard for this area. It never fucking rains like th like this here. But um, but yeah, it was uh pretty rainy there for a couple of days, and now it's gonna be good again until Monday, and then I think Monday and Tuesday we're gonna get supposedly another two and a half inches of rain, which again is like, yeah, I don't know. Living up north, like seeing seeing the pictures of San Francisco and seeing like flooded streets and shit. Like San Francisco usually doesn't flood like that. I feel like even when areas around the city do flood. I feel like San Francisco is usually not doing that. So that, that was kind of crazy to see. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm used to that sort of stuff happening up here, up, up there. And then now that I'm down here, it's like, you know, there's high winds and two and a half inches of rain. And it feels like the world is like, people are like, we've got to get sandbags. I'm like, no, that said, there you know that amount of rain is actually does cause a lot of mudslides and a lot of problems in in some parts of this area. So it is it is it is fucked. <laughs> it is fucked in a sense. But um, but yeah, yeah. I hope my skylight doesn't. Yeah, the skylight has been holding up. We had uh, we um we had someone uh, throw some cock in the uh, leaky window as well, and so that's good. It's all cocked up and. Uh, is big guy, big guy cock and his big guy, whatever. What do I, all right. Uh, so, so at least that's not leaking anymore. Currently no water getting inside the house, but that feels like something that could change at any moment. So I'm not, I'm not like, yay, everything's fine. I'm like, mm. in fact, when I went and looked at that window yesterday, I was like, this window is literally falling apart. Like I could pull this seal out right here and this whole window would probably fall out of the fucking frame. So, uh, probably need to get that replaced one of these days here, but in the meantime, it's all cocked up full of cock. 
I'll see everybody on Tuesday. Podcast will be back then. We'll see if there's any meaningful news. I, yeah, like it's it's been a, a nice kind of slow start to the year. It sort of always is. Um, but um, you know, I guess CES happened, or it, you know, is it happening this weekend or whatever? I feel like anything we were going to get gaming wise already came out and that was the nvidia stuff and the playstation vr like little bits and pieces and, and sony's um um accessibility focused controller and uh and that might be it so a little bit of vr stuff maybe there's a little more like hey we put out a vr headset and that kind of thing but i don't think there's much out there anyway hey have a great weekend i'll be back on tuesday we'll do a podcast and we'll, we'll hang out and have a fantastic time. I hope you are having a fantastic time. Take care of yourselves, and, uh, and I'll see you then. All right. Bye.